Okay, you are not going to believe this news from NASA. They're tracking uh, what they actually call a massive anomaly spreading across the planet. Yeah, it sounds dramatic, doesn't it? Totally. But it's not aliens, folks. It's uh, it's about Earth itself. We're talking about the South Atlantic Anomaly, the SAA. A big area over South America and the South Atlantic where, well, our planet's magnetic field is noticeably weaker than it should be. And you should definitely care about this because this isn't just, you know, some abstract science thing. It directly impacts satellites, our satellites. Mm -hmm. The risk is increasing for the technology we all rely on up there. So our mission today is to really get into what this anomaly is, why it's a problem, and uh, explore the pretty surprising stuff happening deep inside Earth that causes it. We're drawing heavily on NASA's findings here. Exactly. So, the SAA. Think of it like a dent, or maybe a thinner patch, in Earth's magnetic shield. Our natural defense against space radiation. A thinner patch. Yeah. So anything flying through gets less protection. Satellites, for instance. Precisely. When satellites pass through the SAA, they're exposed to much higher levels of these uh, energetic particles from space. Like running a cosmic gauntlet or something. Kind of, yeah. It can cause all sorts of problems. Malfunctions, uh, scrambled data, sometimes even permanent damage to their electronics. So what do satellite operators do? Just cross their fingers? Huh. No, not quite. They often have to uh, power down non-essential systems when they know a satellite's about to pass through the SAA, just to minimize the risk. Wow. Okay, so it's a known hazard zone, and I heard it's not, like, staying put either. It's moving. That's right. It's dynamic. NASA's data shows it's drifting uh, generally northwest. Okay. But what's really caught scientists' attention, especially since around 2020, is that it seems to be splitting. Splitting into two separate lobes. Splitting. So now there are two weak spots. Effectively, yes. Mm. Two distinct centers where the magnetic intensity is at its lowest. It's basically turned into this uh, geomagnetic double dip minimum. Which sounds like double the trouble for spacecraft passing through that wider area. Yeah. It does increase the hazard profile, yeah. A larger region of concern. So how on Earth, or rather off Earth, are scientists keeping tabs on this, this shifting, splitting magnetic dent? Well, NASA uses a whole suite of tools. They have satellites, of course, constantly mapping the magnetic field from orbit. Gives them the big picture. Uh -huh. And uh, they also run these incredibly complex computer simulations of Earth's core, trying to model the geodynamo, the processes generating the field way down deep. To understand why it's behaving this way. And maybe predict it. Exactly. It helps understand the evolution, plan missions safely, and it also gives us clues about the planet's deep interior. Okay, let's go there then. The deep interior. What is causing this weakness? What's happening thousands of miles below our feet? Right. So the source is Earth's outer core. That huge ocean of molten iron and nickel swirling around generates our magnetic field, the geodynamo. Like a giant planetary generator. Pretty much. But it's not perfectly smooth or uniform down there. Two main things seem to contribute to the SAA. First, the tilt. Earth's magnetic axis isn't perfectly aligned with its spin axis, it's tilted. Okay, that tilt. But maybe more importantly, there's this massive feature deep down called the African Large Low Shear Velocity Province, or uh, African Superplume sometime. Oh, say that again, the African. Large Low Shear Velocity Province. Basically, it's thought to be a huge, unusually dense slab of rock, maybe leftover tectonic plate material, sitting at the boundary between the mantle and the core, roughly 1,800 miles beneath Africa. Beneath Africa. And this blob is affecting the magnetic field way up here. That's the leading theory. It seems to disrupt the flow of the molten iron in the outer core, right below where the SAA forms. It kind of uh, gets in the way of the magnetic field generation process locally. That is genuinely mind-bending. A structure that deep having such a noticeable effect. It is fascinating stuff. And there's more. NASA scientists also talk about evidence for a sort of localized magnetic polarity reversal within the core right under the SAA. Like a small magnet planting the wrong way inside the bigger one. Kind of like that, yeah. It creates this localized patch of reversed magnetic flux further weakening the main field above it, like pushing a dent into that magnetic armor we talked about. Okay, my mind is officially blown by Earth's interior workings now. What about uh, the astronauts? The International Space Station passes through the SAA pretty regularly, doesn't it? It does, on nearly every orbit, in fact. They're getting zapped with radiation. Fortunately, the ISS itself has pretty good shielding, so the crew is well protected. But instruments mounted on the outside of the station, they are more exposed and can definitely be affected by the increased particle flux during those SAA transits. Okay, good to know the crew is safe. Now, the big question people might have, 
does this weird weak spot mean the Earth's magnetic poles are about to flip? You hear about pole reversals. Is this the start? That's a really important question to address. And the scientific consensus right now is, no, the SAA is not considered an indicator that a full magnetic pole reversal is imminent. Q. These reversals are natural, they happen, but over very, very long geological timescales, hundreds of thousands of years, typically. And the geological record, looking back, uh, millions of years, it shows evidence of similar magnetic anomalies happening in the past. There was a study in 2020 suggesting similar features existed maybe 11 million years ago. So anomalies like the SAA might just be normal in the uh, long run, uh, or at least not necessarily precursors to a flip? That seems to be the case, yes. Significant, dynamic, challenging for our technology, but likely not signaling an impending global reversal. Right. So wrapping this up then. The South Atlantic anomaly is this dynamic, evolving, now splitting weak spot in our magnetic shield. It's a real and growing issue for satellites, forcing us to adapt. Absolutely. And it's driven by these incredibly complex processes deep within the Earth, like the tilt of the axis and amazingly that huge, dense structure under Africa messing with the geodynamo. Plus that weird local magnetic reversal, oh. the pothole. It's a fantastic window into how our planet actually works, isn't it? It really is. It highlights how dynamic Earth's magnetic field is and, frankly, how much we're still learning about it. The SAA is a challenge, yes, but also a unique natural laboratory. Definitely makes you think. Yeah. And considering, like you said, that similar anomalies might have popped up millions of years ago, what other incredible secrets about our planet's deep past and present are still hidden down there, just waiting for us to find clues like the SAA? What else is going on beneath our feet? 